Alright everybody, uh, welcome to my channel. Um, this is the first video I made for this channel and today um, I'm going to go into uh, my process for drawing the face and uh, basically getting that basic face down. Um, this is by no means the best way to do this. It's just, just the method that I use that works best for me. I'm pretty sure there are other methods that are really good and probably a lot better than this, but um, this works for me, so I figured why not share it. Um, the software that I'm using for this tutorial is uh, Clip Studio Paint EX, if it isn't obvious from, you know, at the top of my screen here. Um, and the hardware I'm using is a uh, Microsoft Surface Pro 4 with the Surface Pro 4 pen. Okay, so we're here in the uh, user face of Clip Studio Paint EX here. First thing you want to do, obviously, is go up to here where it says new. This little tab right here, you want to click that and it's going to open up this page. For this tutorial uh, demonstration, we're going to go ahead and just open up a uh, basic illustration page. You see you have all these different options here, but just keep to this first one here and we'll go and press OK. So now we got a canvas on the page. I'm going to head over here to my sub tools and I already have a pen selected. This is just a basic pencil, it's a soft pencil. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So um, the first thing I'm going to go into is just trying to get that basic shape down uh, before we even get into any details or anything else. Um, so I got this in black, I got the color in black. Um, it's it, The expression is colored and we're going to go ahead and just start drawing. So the first thing I like to do is, is to get that basic shape down and to get everything on point is just start off with like a nice kind of oval shape. And it's okay if you don't get it right. You know, I mean, it doesn't need to be perfect. Right now, we're just kind of setting down foundation. We don't, it's not about having it perfect or anything right now. So you see, I got like a kind of a basic oval shape in there. And a lot of times with different types of art, they tell you not to pet the lines or anything like that. But uh, we're just sketching and we ain't doing other types of art. Like I said, I'm just gonna show you my method. So here it is. We got this basic oval shape in there. Now, if you've read a lot of tutorial books and stuff like that, the first thing they tell you to do is you put like a cross shape in there, right? Because it helps with positioning. That's really what it's about. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put that line down the middle. Uh, and then when we got the line down in the middle, about halfway, around halfway or so, we're going to put a dot like right there. Now when we got that, you can turn the page like that, shift the page, makes it easier to draw lines and stuff like that in different directions. Um, we're going to draw a line through that. And what we do, you don't want to just go and draw a straight line like that. No, what you want to do is you want to try and make the line curve as if it's going around like a ball, kind of like that, or a sphere. Kind of like it contours the actual thing itself. And to, to get the page back to the original position, you just press this right here and it'll rotate it back to the start. So now we got this, right? So a lot of people would think at this point that this line was going to represent the eyes, but it doesn't have to always represent the eyes. Um, what this line represents right now, uh, for me, is where the nose is going to go and where to start. Or actually, no, this dot represents where the nose is going to go. Really, you don't even need this line per se, this line across. So we got the dot here. And let's say that's where our nose is, right? So what you do from here is you go up from right here. You go up a little bit higher. This is how I do it. And you start from right here. And you want to go down like this. And then you want to go from here to here like that. And let's say the bottom of this line in the middle is where the chin is. So now you got that. And that's one half of your face, right? And you go to the other side directly across from that side and you do the same thing. So from here to here, and from here to here, like so, right? Boom. So now you got basically the bottom half of your face, right? The bottom half of your face, just like that. Now, now that we got that in there, now we can go ahead and draw like a line across from the top here, like so, right? So now that we got that line across there, like that, we 
what you do is you put your now you put your your place markers where your eyes are gonna go right I like to put circles now how do you know the distance or where the eyes need to go right well a good rule of thumb is a good rule of thumb is the eyes are placed apart by one eye so let's say we put a circle in the middle right about the same eye size as the eyes you want to draw so on either side of that you just put another circle roughly another circle right there about the same size as the, the one in the middle and there you go now you have nice proper distance between each eye using that one and after you've done it so many times after you've done it so many times and practice and practice is you're able to kind of just naturally gauge how far apart they are to go they're supposed to be so now that you got that in there now you know where the eyes go and you know where the nose goes and you could always if you don't like it you could always just erase and redecide or whatever okay so you know where your nose goes and you knows where you, you know where your eyes are going so how do you figure out where your ears go right I like to start from the top of the line where the eyes go you just kind of go like that and they stop where the nose goes see just like that and then you do the same thing on the other side so now you have where your ears go where your eyes go and where your nose go right and you could just make little changes and stuff how you if it doesn't look the way you want it because we're still just kind of sketching it out it's not final right now how do you figure out where your neck goes after you figure that out so you got your two eyes right you go from your eye straight down like this there's one half of your neck right there you do the same thing on the other side here straight down there's the other one right there you go now you got your neck your nose your eyes and your ears now how do you figure out how to get the mouth well there's more than one way to do this let's say this line right here is half of your face now most most books will tell you okay you start from the eyes and then halfway in between is where the nose goes and then halfway in between where the nose and the bottom of the face goes is where the mouth goes and that's not a bad way to do it what I like to do is though me is envision that if your nose is here right if your nose is there let me go ahead and erase this so I can kind of better show you if your nose is here right pretend I like to pretend that underneath my nose is my top lip so like if you look at somebody's top lip they have that kind of small indentation right there uh, underneath their nose uh, but above their lip I like to pretend that that is there and if that's there then that means that the mouth the lip is right there which means the mouth is right here right so there you go that's one way that's how I do it that's not the only way to do it it just it's always worked for me that way especially in drawing this type of artwork so you know I know that that's there right so I can go ahead and put my mouth right there and boom so once you got all that down so I got my mouth I got my nose I got my whole bottom half of my face and I got my eyes now to make it even better you start from one side here we're gonna finish the, the other half of the head so you go here you go straight up and you just go a little bit higher than when you started out with your with your basic oval until you get this nice shape that looks like this now you got to understand in real life the top of the human head there's a part in the top of the human head where it's just kind of flat almost not completely and utterly flat but there's like a slight flatness there and then it comes straight down like that well not straight down but you know what I mean when you're looking at somebody from the top and they ain't got any hair or anything you kind of see the see the uh, how their head kind of moves around like that now me personally I don't always draw my characters with like a sharp chin at the bottom it depends on the type of character I'm drawing and what type of look I'm going for but for a more natural look for me I like like a slight rounded bottom to the chin area like that you see how messy it is it's not really neat it's nice and messy and everything and I'm just kind of making small 
minute changes here and there that if I don't like something, I'll erase it and do it over. That's something that I wish I would have learned a lot a long time ago when I was a lot younger when I started drawing is it's okay to make mistakes really that's how you come out with really good pieces of art is you make mistakes but don't really even look at them as mistakes look at it as more like a like a like you're building something like like somebody who's making a building right you, you don't start off with the finished product you start off with you know a blueprint and then you build from the blueprint and then you keep going and building it up and building it up and building it up until you finally get the finished product. So now you got this basic stuff down. OK, so you know where the eyes go. Right. And you know where you know where the ears and everything is at. Right. So now let's go ahead and put some details on the eyes. Now, it all depends on the type of eyes that you want to draw because of the type of emotion, whatever you want to convey. I'm kind of kind of draw like some not necessarily large, but um, nice wide looking eyes so from this right here from these circles right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the top lash so I use the circle kind of as a guide for this type of eye that I'm drawing so nice and nice right over the top like that and just use multiple strokes to kind of darken it up a little bit and it'll kind of add more depth to it like that and then you use the circle still to kind of help you draw the eye itself i'm not going to have the circle as the eye but help me kind of guide guide to what i want to do and then the bottom of the eye is right here then let's say i add a little bit right there so now i got the top part of the eye the bottom part of the eye right and now that i got that in there i'm going to use it to help guide me to drawing the other side here i want it to look as much like the side i just did as possible so from here to the other side like so and i'm using this as this one as a reference to make sure they look as much alike as possible almost identical the difficult part about drawing a face straight forward from the front like this is it's really hard to get both sides to look the same it really is um, it can be kind of difficult because one side is always going to be slightly off it's just it, it has a lot to do with just how much practice and how much time you put into, you know, trying to get things to look a certain way. So now I got my eyes the way I want them. And a good way to check for mistakes and stuff like that is over here in your navigation screen. You have this little thing right here where it says flip horizontal. You press that and it flips the whole picture over. Now, if you take a look, you can see where there's some inconsistencies and stuff like that in my drawing and you can use that to uh try to help fix some of those problems and a better thing to do is really go far back off the picture like this and look at it from a distance because then you can really see a lot of those issues so let me go ahead and try and make some changes real quick go ahead and circle this whole thing here what i did there is use the magic wand tool to select the entire picture and now I'm kind of tilting the picture like so, as you can see. Okay, I got it where I want it. And I finalized that and closed that out. Now let's see what else we got here. Okay, so that's a little better. Still a few other things I want to fix, like this ear right here. So I don't necessarily like how this ear is compared to the other side there. So I'm going to kind of erase, get my pencil here and just redraw it until it comes out the way I want it to look. One of my favorite artists, uh, one who really motivates me and influences a lot of my work, his name is Yusuke Murata. He's the artist that draws uh, the One Punch Man uh, manga comic books. And um, there was a time where he was doing like live feeds of himself drawing the actual work, doing the actual work. And, uh, he was doing the penciling before he would go on with like the finalized work and everything. And the amount of times I watched him like erase over and over again when he found something he didn't like or you know something was off, he would erase like an erase and erase and erase until it was exactly the way he wanted. And it was when I saw that that it kind of I kind of realized that a lot when I was a younger person, a lot of the time I was always so worried about it looking a certain way. It's like, dude, there's nothing wrong with it racing something and starting over and redoing it 
until it's the way you want it to look and uh it took a while for me to understand that and it's just that's just part of the game man you got to take the time and just make sure it's the way you want it okay so we kind of got to look a little better there you know what i'm saying it's it's not going to be perfect but it's it's a lot better than what it was this side right here we go move this a little bit And that's a little that's a lot better okay so now that we got that where we want it how do we get how do we get the eyebrows and all that right so right above the eyes we're gonna draw something that basically represents the eyelid so right across here and then kind of like that so that represents like your eyelid area like above your eyelash and we do the same thing to the other side you really want to try your best to make it look as close as possible but it's okay if it's not perfect because what it does is it just shows it shows your own personal touch you know it it shows the inconsistencies kind of show your art if you will so now we got those and then what i like to do is just right above those not too far up is where i'll put you know the uh eyebrows just like that same thing just like a line right there and then near the front just that to give it that and if you want to let's say you want to put a, a, a bridge you know to represent the bridge of somebody's nose i like to use either the eyebrow up here so you can get the bridge like that which looks really natural or you can start kind of right here where the eyelid is naturally you're supposed to use the eyebrow because if you look at somebody's face you can see it kind of reaches up through their nose or through their face to the eyebrow area really call, i think they call it like the t something i forget i have to, have to ask again but naturally that's how you would get that and it just reaches like that and there you have uh, a pretty all right face i noticed with this eye it's a little small compared to the other one so i'm just gonna enlarge it just a little bit there you go and there's that and then uh before we even go any further you know what we got right here i'm gonna just draw a small circle in the center of the eyes to basically represent the inner part of the pupil there and there we go so and this area right here represents the white of the eyes which is called the scalar i learned that you, you know learn that sort of stuff from just studying uh, anatomy books and stuff like that now, let's say you want to add just a few more things like the the inside of the neck right the little the little anatomical parts of the inside of the neck so on either side of the neck i like to start from the ears and pretend imaginary line that goes like this down to this like this kind of like a v so from the ears straight down like a v like that right and in the middle of that you in this area here basically you will have your clavicle or collarbone so then you draw a line this way and align this way not too far just kind of like i would say like right outside the ears or around where the ears are at so then you got your your neck here and then what you do is you pretend there's a triangle right here boom, boom, boom. and that's gonna that's gonna be basically the character's traps or trapezius muscles which is right here boom and then you try to give them a little bit more curve to make them look more natural and then these right here basically is the protrusion of your collarbone kind of right there and now you have now you have their neck collarbone area and traps see just like that okay so we got all that in there right put a little line here to represent the bottom lip boom all right so we got all that in there and just kind of while you're drawing just kind of flipping the picture looking to see if everything looks nice flip it back around flip it again looks pretty good we're gonna put one more thing which is basically the hairline so you start from one side and just take it all the way around like that top of the head all the way down and this is going to help later on when you go to add hair okay and another thing you could do is you can put this in here like an x right here and that'll equate for um the crown of somebody's head you could use that so 
now that we got that down what we want to do is you want to lower the picture's opacity so right here where this little slider is you're going to lower it down to like 45 to 50. I'm going to go to about 50. I'm going to press this right here. This sets it as a draft layer. And then you could, you know, change the name to whatever you want. I'm going to put draft just like that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go up here to where it says effects. And press this last thing where it says layer color. And it's going to turn it blue. That makes it like non-photo blue. So like if you were planning to print this, it wouldn't show up in the print because of this color. So now what you do is you're going to go up here to where the layer area is. You're going to pick a new layer, new raster layer. And now that you're on that layer and this is blue like that, what we're going to do here is we're going to draw the hair. So the stuff in this layer is not going to affect the stuff in this layer. So if I draw on this layer here, right, and then I press this little eye, you can't see it. And if I draw something on this layer and then go over here and then turn that off, you can't see it. So everything that's drawn on this layer does not affect that layer. And everything drawn on this layer right here does not affect that layer. So let's say I go up here and let just delete everything on this layer. You see this layer is still here because these are two separate layers all together. So now on this layer, we're going to take our pencil and we're going to go ahead and draw some hair. So how do you how do you go about doing that so one more thing you want to do on your draft layer before you do that and to help you is to get an idea of how how much hair you need to put over the top of the head right what i like to do is go to like maybe the outside of the ear if i'm not sure and draw like a line about that you know draw a line that far away from the top of the head from ear to ear right and that basically gives you an idea of how much depth you need to put to the hair on the outside. Right? Alright, so let's go to our new layer again. And what we're going to do is with our hairline, we're going to draw our hair. So this, what you want to do is you want to make some strokes going in both directions. So starting here on the hairline right here, I like to do this. One, and then two. This is just one way of doing this. It's not the best way. Don't worry if you make a mistake, you could just erase. One, two, and then one, like that. So that's one side, right? It doesn't need to be perfect, we're still sketching. And then on the other side, one, two, one, two, and then one, like that. You wanna aim for like a W shape if you're doing this type of hair. You see that, how easy that was? And now we got that in there, right? Now, this character that I'm drawing right now, let's say we keep the ears where you can kind of see them, right? So, now let's draw a little bit more hair. So, from here, one, two, right? Now, you got some more hair right here. Boom. Do the same thing on the other side, but just make it a little different. So, here and then here like that, right? Boom. So, this side, you may not be able to see the whole ear. No big deal. I like the way that looks. That's cool. Now the top of the hair right here you just using that line that you made you just follow it down follow it down and then when you get to about here you start adding more things of hair one two one two the same way you did it at the inside of the head here don't worry about detail just do just get this basic shape in there boom follow it down one two one two boom now look at that you got a nice basic shape of her hair in place now you got that in there Boom. so now with this one we're going to do the same thing we did with the layer below it we're going to lower the opacity to about 50 but when we go up here we're going to press this arrow right here or, i'm sorry we're going to press this and then press this uh, color right here and we're going to choose a different color so that it's separate from the other one so you can tell the difference between the two so you see that's purple and the other one is blue so now what you want to do is you make a new layer boom like that and you got these two layers that are on 50 and you got this final layer so what we're going to do on this last layer is kind of like put in detail now because we got everything to where we want it right 
So let's do that. So with your pencil, you just kind of using what's underneath, take your time and just go through and slowly, you know, slowly take your time kind of drawing through everything that you uh, put on there already. This is basically what you want to do before you get ready to add, like, if you're going to add ink to it, you know what I'm saying, and really make it shine and stuff like that. This is what you want to, this is the step you want to be on just before that. You see that? Just, and I'm using the other layers I did before as reference, just like so. And on this layer, I can put, you know what I'm saying, I can put some some white to her eyes right there basically like the reflection in her eyes and put that right there if I want to this is the bottom of her eyes right here put this right here add some more detail right there like so see you can do that and you can use using the other layers as kind of like your guide if you will you just take your time so get that in there looking real nice see that and that's really the majority of it boom get those eyes looking like this then what you can do right here is you can draw like a line like that and then you just go like this put these little lines in here like that and this is going to give it more depth. So I'm going to make the drawing pop some more. You really want to get like the further up right here. You want to get it real dark. And then kind of have it light out like that. And then when you get to like right here. You can go ahead and do something like this. What I like to do is go like this. Like that. And then add some, uh, some lines this is like I said this is not the best way to do it it's just one way this is not even the only way I do it it's just for this tutorial I chose to do it kind of like this like that see and you get kind of something like that you know what and if you don't like that you could always go ahead and fill that in let's get an eraser and let's erase over here instead Maybe you like that better. See? And you want to do, you want to do the same thing to the other side over here. And I'm only, you see, I'm just put stacking lines together to get it to get darker and darker like that until it's the type of consistency that I want start putting some of those eyelashes in there like that we're gonna only put like maybe two large ones at the top but you can add more it's, it's your drawing you do what you want to do and I'm just you know trying to give you some ideas and show you my method to the madness like that and then the eyes So, got the bottom of the eyes here, like that. Then you want to get this right here, kind of get that in there, boom. So here, color that in. When an artist, when you know, when you see art and they're putting like a bunch of lines to make it darker, or, you know, change the texture. The technique is called catching like that and it, there's a lot of very elaborate ways to do that technique that's kind of the basic form that I just showed you right there I'm not the best at it I just I know that's kind of how that works so now you got that in there let's draw the nose 
and instead of just putting the nose in there what we're gonna do is we're gonna add something to kind of show you where the bridge is so like here and then you can go like this like that and that kind of shows you where the bridge of the nose is and it shows you that there's a it shows you more definition of the nose see like that and then go ahead and draw the mouth and we're like I said we're adding more detail to the picture right now kind of darken the edges because you want differences in mind thickness it adds more depth like so see now the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and draw uh, the eyebrows and then the hair so straight line right there come up a little bit boom if you don't like it like that you can always just kind of thin it out i didn't like how thick that was so i just decided to thin it out straight line come back through thicker line like that there you go now i'm gonna go ahead and draw the hair in before i do the face so here you just kind of follow what you did now but this time you can go and you can add detail see make it look more more interesting add more strands I like to start from here go up like that and then bring it up to where I put that X you see kinda and then go like this like that and then where I got this right here boom like that you know add more strands in make it look more interesting and then go down here boom Just like so, bring it up, bring some more strands in here, and we're going to kind of do the same thing on the other side, so, see, just like that, it's really easy, I know it seems difficult, I know I'm probably like making this look a lot easier than you would think it is, but it is really that easy. It just takes some practice, that's all. But before you know it, you'll be able to do stuff probably better than this. And I'm just kind of, you know, I'm just doing, really, I'm just doing this on the fly. But, um, with enough practice, you know, you'll be able to put stuff out a lot better than this. And then what I like to do at this point is kind of go to the top of the head. Like so. Now you see how I did this right here. Now let's say I want to add some more depth to the top of the head right here. I make it seem like the hair is kind of moving in like that. See? Boom. Like that. And then do the same thing to the other side here like this. Kind of start from here. Boom. Like that. Move it through. Flip the picture. Come to the other side. Bring it down. Now we get to the part where the rest of the hair is, right? Let's come down and do the same thing where we're putting details in the bottom over there. Do the same thing over here. And then once we get here, we're going to show that it's starting to get to where the back of the hair where it's darker and stuff. So you draw, you can draw like a line like this and then just draw some lines like that. Like that. Bring it down like this. Boom. See? And then you do the same thing to the other side because you're basically mirroring each side kind of things of hair and there we go bring that up darker part of the hair in the back and there you have it now we're gonna draw the face so I like to start from one side right here come down just follow it and boom just like that just like that draw the little line right there and then you could put the ear in so up like this now the inside of the ear I'd go up the little part on the inside here like this just like that and then on the bottom here up and then like that 
and then kind of make like a dark area here and then bring that like that and this is the, where it's going to start going to the inside of the ear like that see and then on the other side you're going to do the same thing start from here come down like so and there you go and then like that and just make some little details in there like that and we're almost done I kind of like the way that is like that so you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna erase it and draw it until it looks the way I want it to look boom take your time if it doesn't look right draw it over again it's no big deal see draw it over again boom now that looks a lot better to me you notice with the eyes one side is a little darker than the other one so I'm gonna put a little bit more a little more strokes in those get a little bit darker like this remember this is not the final piece either it's just I'm still penciling now we're gonna put the, the neck boom boom right now seeing as this is a female character I don't want to put so much uh, I don't want to make the musculature so pronounced it's there but it's not gonna really be showing so hard so you know you don't need to put every line depends on the character you just want it to be enough for them to understand that the stuff is there see now if this is a male character then I will go ahead and put more information right there like that but it's not it's a female character so I don't want it to be so pronounced another thing I can do is to add more depth is where the inside is right here of the hair put some cross hatching in there to show shadow see basically making it darker from the outside of the hair and adding more depth do the same thing on the other side if you don't like making such long strokes like that or you don't feel comfortable doing that do strokes do little strokes at a time during down one side then go to the neck right next to it and do some more strokes let me show you what I mean so you see how I put the light right here let's say let's go like that right so that's say that's some shadow so what we're gonna do is go like this see so little strokes on one side and let's say I come back up and put some strokes right next to it just like that right next to those and practice you, you want to practice this technique definitely want to practice this this definitely makes can make your picture look really cool if you do it right stuff like this when you're doing these you don't want to really change direction either you want to try to maintain the same direction Now you got that you turn these off and there you go you see that let's say I want to add just a little bit more detail to the picture All right boom boom you know just kind of go through add some more detail then make it look cooler that's really what you're trying to do is just make your picture look really cool you know what I'm saying trying to be not too flashy but you're trying to show your artistic ability you're trying to practice and build up your skills see maybe put some cross section right here there you go and uh that's pretty much it you know what i'm saying you can add maybe some little more stuff like maybe some some blush strokes right here little bit more right here but uh yeah that's that's the gist of it so uh, I hope you liked my video me kind of going into this you know going about how I handle this sort of thing you know this is my first YouTube video this is kind of like my first tutorial video and stuff like that I'm really hoping you know you enjoy the video and learn something here today and if you you want to see something in particular 
you know make me do a, have me do a video um, on some particular that you might be having issues with or that you're interested in you know leave leave a comment below and uh i just might actually get to that um you know like and subscribe and uh i hope to hear from you guys soon thanks for watching bye